Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. Uh, today we're going to talk about iTunes Match. Now iTunes Match is Apple's music service uh, where it allows you to put your music in the cloud. And so what it does is it uh, scans your library and finds all of your songs and the songs that it can match uh, to music that it has in the iTunes store it makes available for you to download uh, to your devices. Any of the songs that it can't match it then uploads uh, to the cloud so those things are available uh, not only in iTunes on your computer but for all your iOS devices. Now, there's a couple of uh, things to understand about iTunes Match before you get started. The first thing is that it costs uh, $24.99 a year. Now, that cost uh, covers the ability to access uh, all of your uh, information in the cloud. Uh, it stores your music up in the cloud as well. And it, uh, it, it provides for your, all of your iOS devices. It's also probably a way to uh, make the record labels uh, okay with the service so that they could get this thing through and make it happen. Uh, a couple of things to understand about your own library. Your library needs to be 25,000 songs or less. It can't be uh, any more than that uh, or it just won't work. It'll tell you that uh, you can't access it. So you'd have to cut your library up uh, to be able to access the service. So if you've got a lot of music, this probably isn't going to work well for you. Uh, the other thing is that it'll upload uh, just about anything, but it won't upload songs that are 96 kilobits a second or lower. Uh, it'll say that those are ineligible. So it's got to have a, a reasonable quality to it uh, over that 96 kilobits. Um, also, it ha can't be anything more than 200 megabytes per song. So if you've got um, maybe an audio uh, file that goes that long or maybe an audio book or something, this isn't made uh, for those kinds of things to be uploaded. Uh, there's also a 10 device limit so that it can only be used on 10 devices that you've got. Uh, so iOS devices, Macs, those kinds of things. Uh, it's linked to your Apple ID, so it only will work on 10 devices. Uh, now, the matches, uh, once it matches those things, you have access to the 256 kilobit per second uh, files that Apple has on the iTunes store. So you can download those tracks uh, from the store, that the ones that you already own that it's matched. You can download those to your computer uh, at any time. So it's kind of a good strategy if you've got a lot of uh, DRM files uh, that you need to update. Instead of doing the whole iTunes Plus thing where you're paying 30 cents a song to upgrade it, paying this one fee in your entire library will be uh, updated. So it might be a good strategy for that as well. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that it's different than Google or Amazon service and that it doesn't actually stream uh, the files to your devices. So it's not like it lives in the cloud and then you can just listen to them wherever you are. Actually what happens is, is it uh, starts to play the songs as it's downloading them in the background. So it kind of preloads them almost like a buffer. Uh, but it will load those songs onto your device. So you want to watch that uh, if you're using 3G or something like that. Uh, those downloaded files will count against your data cap. So that gives you a little bit of an upview, uh, overview to kind of uh, familiarize yourself with the service. Why don't we walk through now how you actually go about uh, upgrading to iTunes Match and making that happen on your computer. Okay, to get started with iTunes Match, you need to pull up iTunes and uh, you need to be upgraded to the uh, most current version of iTunes. And so once you do that, you'll notice right down here uh, on the store site it says iTunes match and there's a little icon there when you click on that you're given this screen here that talks about iTunes match kind of gives you a little bit of an overview of it and you'll notice there's a no thanks if you're not interested in doing iTunes match at all or you can subscribe for uh, the $24.99 per year so if you just click that button there it begins to start the process and what it does is it asks you to log in then with your Apple ID uh, to start the subscription so that it can bill your iTunes account and so as soon as you click that, it begins to start the process. And it starts to, um, it purchases iTunes Match, and then it starts accessing the iTunes Music Store to start the access uh, to the matching process. And so you can see here that we're gathering information about our iTunes library. Then it'll go through the process of matching uh, your music with the songs in the iTunes Store. And then it'll start to upload uh, artwork and the remaining songs and those kinds of things. So we'll just uh, watch this for a little bit here. And uh, you'll be able to see how the process uh, comes through. It will take a little bit of time. 
uh, because it needs to uh, gather all the information on your library and it's going through that match process. So depending on how big your library is, uh, you can expect to wait a while for this process to take place. Also, depending on how much of your music needs to be uploaded uh, will also determine uh, how long this process will take. And so uh, we're just going to let the servers uh, gather uh, the information and do this match. And I'll show you pieces of it throughout the process so you can see what's happening. Okay, so after it uh, has gathered information about your iTunes library, it goes on to start matching your music with the songs in the iTunes store. Now that first uh, round of uh, gathering information about your library is a long one. Uh, it took about uh, 30, 35 minutes uh, to go through my library. And as you can see there, I've got uh, 4,317 songs that were checked. So that's not anywhere close to the size of some people's libraries. So if you've got a large library that you're seeking to match, uh, it's going to take you a little bit of time to make that happen. Uh, with step two here, now it's going to go through and match my music with the songs in the iTunes store to see which things it can uh, match up and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at it there. It looks like so far there's 635 songs that have been checked of my collection so it's going to go through this process and then I'll come back and uh, we'll look at the final uh, step in this whole thing just so that you can see how it goes about making this happen for those of you that need to see it visually. So I'll be back as soon as uh, this has gone to the next step. Okay so now it's uh, done the match and so it's matched my music with the songs in the iTunes store and so now it's uploading the artwork and the remaining songs. It looks like it needs to upload about 1750 uh, songs from my library that it couldn't match to uh, iTunes and we're gonna uh, take a look at uh, what those were and see uh, if there's a way that we can fix that and I'll show you some tricks on how to get some of the songs to match that may not have matched in the first place. But out of the 4,000 some odd songs, it looks like about 2,739 of them uh, were already up in, in iCloud. So right now it's going to go through the upload process, which that's going to take a little bit more time. Uh, it looks like this process of going through step two uh, it took a, oh, it took about 17, 18 minutes. So I, I'm running it probably somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes for each step. Uh, this one here though I expect might take a little bit longer. So once that's done uh, I will come back and uh, show you what it looks like when iCloud's done. Um, again, wanted to show you the different steps through the process, so I'll be back as soon as it's done uploading all, right, all once, of the things uh, that iTunes couldn't match is iTunes. done. Uh, this is the screen that you get, and as you can see here, it uploaded the 4,533 songs that I have that are now available uh, in iCloud. And so uh, the process went uh, pretty well overall. It does take a lot longer than you might normally think, but uh, this is the screen that you get when you're done. And uh, from there, then we can start to take a look at uh, some of the options and things that we have in iTunes Match, which I'll do in another screencast. So that's all I have for today for the setup of iTunes Match. I'll come back with another screencast on some of the details of it, and I'll be back with another screencast to help you do more things with your Mac.